Hi Aquarius, welcome. Let's jump in and see what's going on here with who you're dealing with. What are they up to? Okay. Um, this is a general reading, so of course it's not going to resonate with all of you. But for more readings after this, please go ahead and check out my husband's tarot channel at Possessed777. And I do offer same-day personal readings. Everything you need to know is in the description box below. All right, thank you. Um, what else here? Yeah, I'm just going to uh, shuffle all the cards out first. And I'll tell you what I see here in regards to who this is that you are dealing with. What are they? And I'll tell you what are they up to, okay? Thank you, Aqua. All right. Let's see here. Hmm, this is weird. I normally don't get this, but because I, I don't know who this is that you're dealing with. Um, but this is a message that they're telling me to tell you um, because they projected your card. Um, obviously, they're in that energy, but what they're saying. OK, so this is not for all of you at all or <laughs> it's not for all of you or any of you. No, it's, it's not for all because um, I can't assume who this is. I'm only just freely telling you what are they up to. Only, you know, if you're dealing with them or not. But this person, someone's coming through real quick being like, Val, yo, tell Aqua this. They're like, tell them I'm about to fucking fight them because I know that they're obsessed with the Pisces. I'm like, oh, this is awkward. <laughs> and that's why I'm being guarded. I'm like, oh. And they're giving me like Sagittarius energy. Like they're the Sagittarius or something. So I don't know what's going on there, what that means, but there's that. But that's not for all of you. I just had to tell you that because I'm like, okay. Like what they're saying is like they know, you know? Like, they know. I'm like, okay. Anyway, let's keep going. So I don't know who they are to you, what's going on, but someone wanted to say something like that to you, but I don't know what's going on here. All right. So for the rest of you, let's see what else is going on with who this is. Of What are they up to? And it could be like a Cancer Scorpio, maybe even a Gemini Libra. But I get they're emphasizing strongly. They're like, no, call it out. It's a Pisces. I'm like, okay, I don't know. There's a lot of Pisces out there in the world. <laughs> okay. So Aquarius, they start out conflicted. Okay. Maybe even having to start some drama. I don't know. They're happy and excited about it, but also they're moving really quickly with that. They're considering some realistic options of what to do. And based on that, they put their walls up completely and get guarded and defensive. They, and it's for what they want and desire truly. And they still have hope and faith that something can work out with this, but a lot's getting revealed of the, from the unknown. They're working with that and trusting that. And this is where they are very successful. There's something about public recognition and success, social media. They're very happy. They're doing well with that. They're just relaxing, resting, rejuvenating, recovering, doing their thing. Okay. And they're feeling like emotionally content, happy, you know, nurturing, giving, kind, or committed to someone or something. After that, and maybe it's because of a person, they just disconnect emotionally that fast. But they feel like they're being authentic. That's like, they're like, this is my path, my journey, and this is what I'm doing. Then they even go and do some research and study and get some information then they know what the fuck or who is bur causing so much burden for them that they just, they're done. They drop that or whatever it is, you know, about a person or whatever. To then maybe pursue who they actually have a crush on or whatever, because now they're happy, they're curious and excited about something or someone, which is their independence, making money, doing their thing, whatever, and creating. And then back to a lot of progression, fast paced movement, things are speeding up in life. They could be traveling, relocating. Now, it looks like here they end up, you know, they already know intuitively everything going on. So they just stick with themselves. They stay quiet. They commit to their contracts or like a spiritual religious path or a way of living or a person. 
and that's where they're depressed. So who they're committed to or what is what's causing so much depression for this person and pain. Okay. So let's see more here. Okay, and at home. So they're, they're going through the blues at home, okay? But then their stability, maybe home location, whatever, like that's where they're like, okay, but I'm fulfilled, I'm grateful, I'm getting everything I want and I got what I wanted. And they're like, okay, they're confused about a choice, but then they have to make a decision, which is, I guess, to stay with where they're at. I mean, I would too, if I mean, shit. They're showing a lot of fucking money and wealth and abundance. The, the community, creativity, office, I don't know, but they make a lot. They do well, they're abundant, they're helpful. And then they're very um, equal in giving, okay, with others, people, society, whatever. And then they're in their strength, they're getting up, they're taking care of shit, doing things, whatever it is. So feeling good, feeling pretty solid. Okay, in the situation, whatever's going on here. Ah, what are you doing, Knight of Wands? What the hell, are you, why are you dancing off the table? Get off the table. Unless you're a dancer, I don't know. Okay. Weird. Okay. Anyway. <laughs> so let's see more here. Mm hmm. Hmm. I'm not going to say that. I heard a really mean channeled message, and uh, no one needs to hear that. Someone's angry, but I don't know who. Mm -hmm. Okay, so this is someone that's definitely in a relationship, okay, and it looks like here they feel good to be, ah! ew, oh my god, there's a fucking roach on the table, I, no, oh, not with my hand, ew, why is this happening with you and your fucking reading, ah, it sees me, it's right there, you see it, get him, get him, he's running, he's running, get him, babe. A roach on the fucking table after I was just making fun of the Knight of Wands dancing off the damn table. Aquarius, what is going on and who is it? What the fuck's going on, guys? Thank you, babe. Ew, a roach, you guys? That's a sign for you, Aqua, if you haven't fucking seen one before. Ew! How did it even get up here? Rose, it's like a baby roach, but still, it starts small and then it gets big, you know. What the fuck? And this was they're trying to distract me. This was right when I was gonna say they're in that flirtatious player energy, but they're in a relationship, and then they just get up and take care of shit and have responsibility. Thank you, babe. They turn into a roach. They turn into a fucking roach. I don't know. Ew. Ew. That's some filthy energy, you guys. Aquarius, get away from who this is. Apesta <laughs> los Get away from them, Aqua. Aqua. Get out of the... Get away from them. Anyway, so then they get up and do shit, take care of stuff. Then they go through a huge ego death. And then, because the truth is out, they stay quiet and peaceful. <sighs> but let's see more. Now I want to dig a little more. <laughs> what the fuck's going on here? So here, okay. Flirtation, maybe they're flirtatious with who they're in a relationship with, whatever, or they're just like, I don't know, whatever. Passion, excitement, woo, -hoo, they're in the relationship here, okay? And then there's, you know, the stability, or there they are being responsible, there's a big ego death, but they're being cool, calm, collected, peaceful in the situation. The truth is out, along with the fucking roaches, and there's the truth. Oh, there, yeah, exactly. This is weird. Okay, I some of you, I know you guys are dealing with Sagittarius, but Sagittarius, I feel like, is here in this reading, listening to everything, and if you're the Aquarius that's in a marriage or relationship with the Sagittarius, I think the Sagittarius is coming through and kind of being a smartass, being like, no, like projecting and being like, no, it's the Aquarius who's obsessed in a fucking, like, they're in a marriage and they're obsessed with someone else and it's... 
that once again, they keep emphasizing water sign energy. I don't know what's going on. There's that message. But anyway, for the rest of you, the truth comes out about who they actually have more romantic feelings for while they're already in a relationship. And that's who they're hung up on and stuck on. They're so filthy, they manifested a fucking roach in the reading. <sighs> now I'm going to have to do a cleansing. I don't like that. We'll leave it there, guys. You could be doing with a deal. You could be doing. Uh, guys, don't tell me about your little weekend shenanigans. Okay, girl. I mean, whatever, girl. You can tell me about your little, you know, secrets, whatever. Anyway, let's not. Thank <sighs> Sorry, between the neighbors. Gemini, Libra, Aquarius, Pisces, a lot of Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio, Aries, Leo, Sagittarius, and Virgo, Taurus, Capricorn. Be careful. Get it. Stay, stay safe, guys. That's filthy. At 111, I just saw. 111. Yeah, I'm going to go sage and get some Palo Santo right now. And that's fucking filthy. Okay, guys. Bye.